Hey fellas and gals, guys and gals, Jay Kilroy back in the shop. Got a little project here in the box. Um, I don't have a power feed on the X axis on my Herco mill, and I want one, so I bought one. And we are going to go through the process of installing this baby uh, from uh, stem to stern. Uh, it, it is a Shars. Uh, otherwise known as discount tool on eBay. Uh, I actually bought this through Amazon. Um, it's a um, 110 volt version of the APX150 PowerFeed Extraverse. Um, and it's in the box. I have not done anything to take it out of the box. Um, Full disclosure, I have no affiliation with Shars whatsoever, nor do I have any affiliation with Amazon. Um, so you're going to get the good, the bad, and the ugly, front to back, here. Um, I paid uh, $295 for this unit, plus $28.20 in shipping, uh, for a total of $323.20. The order date was September the 3rd. Um, Got it yesterday. So let's get it out of the box. Um, first thing to note on the box is this seal tape is broken. I didn't break it, it was that way. Uh, some stickers, they have stickers and stuff all over the box, identification. Uh, let's see. Uh, Poorly translated instructions as normal, but there we go. We can have a good laugh with some of this stuff later. Uh, let's see what we got here. In bracket. Uh, various hardware. There's the infamous shims, bushings, socket head cap screws, you name it. Uh, probably the piece you actually pay for, the um, sprout bevel gear for actually hooking to the uh, lead screw. More paperwork, um, installation and operations manual, and the actual unit. Let's pull it on out. Oh. The bottom cover stayed in the box. Uh, good packing, um, well designed. Packing, there we go. So let's clean some of this stuff up here. All right. So let's see. The unit does not appear to be damaged. All of the switches appear to work. Here's okay. Little um, styrofoam fluffies everywhere. Uh, we got power cord here, which I will wire into my electrical disconnect directly. I'll not use the plug. Um, and then we have um, the mount for the limit switch. That's excellent. And uh, so we have all of our parts. So I'm not going to videotape me reading the manual. That might be a bit too complete. So we're going to take a brief break. I'm going to look over the instructions briefly, not too much. I wouldn't want to violate the, the um, man ethic of uh, instructions. What instructions? 
At least you don't see with a map in my hand. It must be serious. Okay, so I'm going to look this stuff over. Be right back with you. All right, guys. We have some issues. Oh, in the meantime, by the way, I got in one of these neat little speed handles for the um, for my mill, which is kind of nice. Uh, and I promptly let the little ball that, that secures the mill drop down under the table. So uh, I'll be spending some quality time with the magnet in the near future. Um, I went and read the manual. I read portions of the manual, which was kind of funny. And then I um, picked this up. Let's go over to the mill and do a little pre-fitment comparison. Okay guys, here we are at the right hand end of the mill. And I, <clears throat> I want to be honest with you. Um, I did not really see this coming, but as you can tell, the end plate on this mill is significantly larger than the um, one that they ship here. This is obviously not even in the same ballpark. So I thought to myself, well this is a 10 by 54 table, maybe this, maybe this size end plate is for a, a 9 inch wide table. Maybe I need to call them and say, hey look, do you have an adapter of this for a 10 by 54 table? Let me get a tape measure. All right, got a tape measure. 10 by 54 table. It's 11 inches wide. Um, 11 inches. Well, what about length? I thought it was 54 inches. I don't know if you can see that. It's 58 inches. 11 by 58, it's a series 2 size table. Alright, that doesn't do me any good. Um, so, I'm looking for ideas here. Now, um, one thing might be okay, let's just adapt this unit to this right here. Um, this whole stub shaft here. Let me get the camera. This whole stub shaft is actually I made it on to the actual lead screw with that adapter and those two split pins. So we could make a new stub shaft. Oh, second problem. You see that key? You see that keyway? Big key, little keyway. Big key, little keyway. So, yeah. This obviously doesn't fit this. The right diameter, um, well, I say that. Um, that is a 5 8 diameter shaft. So, um, so anyway, looking for some ideas here. Um, one, does anybody know of a power feed that fits a machine like this? Uh, two, does anybody know how to adapt a power feed to a machine with a table this size? Uh, if so, great. Let's talk about it. Three, um, am I out of luck? Uh, should I build a new stub shaft here um, with the with the right size shaft and just adapt this power feed that we have here to this machine obviously substituting a different key size and making some other changes to um, make a shaft go on here so that that's an option um, 
So anyway, yeah, looking looking for feedback. You guys uh, always are uh, full of information. So um, all I got to say right now is bring it because this baby here isn't fitting on there. So we are looking for some uh, pointers here.